all, thank you for being with us, all of you, representatives of the sister churches, of the sister religions, and the, uh, let's even the local governments here, and organizations. Thank you so much for being with us. I appreciate your patience and uh, your participation, and it means a lot to our people too. I come to you from Damascus, yes, from Damascus, Syria. A place that very few want to go and visit today. I'm glad that Gabriella went in 2010 to visit. Where is Gabriella? 2010. I wish all of you went before the war starts and you'll have found a beautiful country, very generous people very peace-loving people. And unlike what you hear in the news, Syrian people always live together in harmony and in peace. We never heard about this religious and denominational divides. Yes, they were there, we all belong to one community or to another, but we all, we all live together in peace and in harmony. What's happening in Syria did not start in Syria. And I tell, I'm telling you that because I've been there and I know my country. Of course, there were legitimate demands for reforms. And there were reforms needed in Syria. We needed to, to have some reforms. But not reforms at any cost. Syrian people yearn for peace. They want to go back to their life before 2011. They want to live together again, yes. All of them. Unfortunately, now we talk about Sunni and Shia, Christian and Muslim, but we did not use these terms in the past to divide us. But now we say it's that all these components of the Syrian people would like to live together. And they are ready to live together if you are left alone. If you are helped to do that. We appreciate the help of the German people in terms of humanitarian assistance. We appreciate the efforts of the international community to feed the hungry, a problem that we did not have before 2011. Syria was self-sufficient before 2011. Syria was debt-free. We had no debts. But now there are millions who, who need food and clothes and education and other necessities. And we thank the international community for helping. And I'm, I'm happy to say that the German government also through some of its uh, relief agencies such as HELP are working in Syria through our church, through our patriarchate. They are partnering with us at the St. Ephraim Development Committee. We are doing projects together to help the people of Syria regardless of their faith and religion. And we are proud of this work, but it's a very little, very limited work. And I hope it will grow to a larger scale where we can help many other people. And probably this, this is where you come to help us through your um, advocacy work. I'm also grateful to the German people for recently recognizing the feeling of our people the mass murder of our people as a genocide. I believe it was June 2nd when the parliament, the Bundes parliament, Bundestag, yeah, got together and voted to recognize the 1915 atrocities committed against Armenians, Syriacs, Chaldeans, Assyrians, Greeks, and other religious communities in the former Ottoman Empire recognized as genocide and we appreciate and we salute the courage of the German people. We know how much is at stake in terms of economic relationships with Turkey and uh, in terms of pressure that is put on the politicians, but they chose to say the truth and that's commendable. We appreciate that. Not only for saying the truth, but also for preventing future genocide. Because I believe if 
If what happened in Turkey and Ottoman Empire was recognized as such a long time ago, probably the international community would have prevented some other genocides, like the ones that happened in Asia and Africa, and the one that happens to our Jewish friends in the world. Unless we stand up and say the truth, then we will we, we, we fail our own humanity. We are not being true human beings. So for that, we truly appreciate what Germany did and we hope other countries also will follow. One final point. These people, some of them, I think the oldest one came today and said, uh, introduced himself, he has been here since 1969. That means 47 years. When you die, he was charged here. أو قاموا لديهم ما في بيئة منو بتشارج شيء ذا في أي كورس كذا أركيه هذا صير عم يأخذ أي كورس كذا معين وكل حزين أي كورس أي كورس he's at the back there he's raising his hand he came 1969 هذا بتشارج شيء ذا في there's another one 1969 these people came because they wanted a better life for themselves and their families and they found it here in Germany thanks to the generosity of the German people. We appreciate that. But these people also have been contributing to, to the life of this community, of their, of, of their local communities. Yes, they are benefiting from the generosity of the people but they are also contributing. And my advice to all of them is to, yes, to integrate within the German society but also to preserve their identity and their culture because it's a wealth for the German society. It's a wealth that they bring with them, the accumulated wisdom and tradition of thousands of years from Mesopotamia, from the, from the land where civilization started. They have something to give also. And I know that the German people who have been very generous and uh, well, uh, who have received them quite well, will also appreciate this culture and these traditions and will try to understand them. But they also have a role to play here during this crisis that's happening in Syria. As a Syrian other church and community where that comes from, they have responsibility towards their, the newcomers that are coming here, mainly members of the church, but also others, to receive them and to help them, and I believe, and I know our church, our class in Germany is more than happy and willing and happy to, to take care of these newcomers as much as we can. Because we went through the same thing, these people went through the same difficulty when they came first. What we need today is peace in our part of the world and we believe Germany can play a role in that, in, in securing peaceful resolution for the crisis in Syria, in respecting the wish of the Syrian people, in allowing the Syrian people to decide their future and not to impose on them what we do not want. We do not want the vision of Syria. We want to keep the, 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 the geography of, of Syria intact. We want Syria to be one and united for all its people, for opposition and those who are with the government, for everyone. So we, this is to the politicians here, please help us to do that. That's what we need. One final word to the two lovely ladies who spoke, um, Dr. Gabriela and uh, Frau Anetta Schwartz. To both of you, you want us to be active, in, in the life of the community here. You want us to be members of uh, uh, RCK? Yes, then help us to be recognized as a church here in Germany first. Until now, we are not officially recognized as a church in Germany. Chairperschaft. So help us to do that so that we, are, we can help work with you as a church. 
Finally, once again, thank you. Appreciate your presence. Ask the Lord to bless you, bless this beautiful country of Germany, the German people. And we pray also for your safety here. Believe me, we are worried about you too. Because terrorism has no borders and it's striking everywhere. We used to tell this to the of, to the uh, our friends from the Western governments. We used to tell them this three, four years ago that please help us get rid of terrorism in Syria. It will come to you too. Back then they did not. Either they don't believe us or they don't make a big uh, thing about it. But today it's here at home. So we pray for your safety and we ask the Lord to bless you and to protect your country to protect our country, our countries of the Middle East, the whole world be in peace so that we can all live together as children of God. God bless you. دائم خوزينا بخوضو في صيحوثو وبشينو صلاينا ونحن نستيق ايمينا بتشوي شايدان